right. <clears throat> All right, real quick on the bean today, we had a little uh, move here, a little wiggle from 1030 down to uh, 1016 and change. And I said midday that uh, this is probably a good buying opportunity, 1020 and below. Why do I say that? Well, I go back to the bigger charts. First of all, again, we've been we've been moving down here about 60 cents, 1076 down to 1016 now in the last 10 days, which is a big uh, uh, time frame uh, trend. So we've been going down for uh, two weeks. But if you pull back uh, a little bit further, you start to see a little bit clearer what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the beans are still in this big bracket here. And you see it, I've kind of marked it off here, 1089 down to uh, 990. And that's why I was selling puts 990 and, um, or excuse me, 980 and uh, $10 uh, last week. And I sold more on this move down there. I don't mind being long below 990 um, with these puts. And I don't mind being, you know, long the $10, uh, you know, basically getting me short about, or getting me long about 985 synthetically. So the opportunity to sell these puts last week and again today has been, in my view, smart because we're still in this whole huge bracket and we're kind of sitting, you know, we were sitting right at value on uh, going back here about two months. And I'm of the irk that this thing's going to bounce here and today probably may have put that bottom in. You've got all these people here that are looking to buy again before we had this move. So I don't even know if we're going to get down much further than we saw today. We went to the low end of this value zone. And uh, again, this is a quarterly look on beans and I think we're going to bounce next and you can uh, look for upside. I am long and uh, I'll be looking to uh, see where we go in the next few days.